Hello everybody and welcome back to Mega Aquarium where you find me at uh, Sunnyside still but we are going to be moving on. We have uh, built up Sunnyside to be a great little aquarium. They don't need us anymore. We need to take a new job in Northwoods. So let's go. So we're refurbishing. I have been tasked with refurbishing this old aquarium. It already has several tanks, some decorations, and a couple of surviving fish. The aquarium has a healthy source of ecology points, but these only unlock new animals. To unlock other things, we need science points. Science points are used to unlock new pieces of equipment, tanks, and facilities for your guests. Both types of points are crucial to running a successful aquarium. Make sure you have an adequate supply of both. How do we get science points? Says what they're used for. It doesn't say how we get them. Okay, combine science across animals. Zero out of 40. Mm, that's no good. Okay, st so straight away I can see that my tangs don't have enough filtration here. They've got some kind of different plants, which is kind of cool. We've got different plants now. <gasps> We've got eelgrass, rubble. Ooh, very nice. So what have we got here? We've got the royal grammar fish and the zebra mori eel. Ooh. Very nice. So we've got basic filter, a power filter. Power. I don't know why I said that. Power heater, basic heater, combi mini, basic filter. Um, I could do with just sticking a basic filter in so those poor little tanks can can feel a bit happier poor little things I love this uh, the way I didn't actually realize that you could build walls around tanks like that oh my goodness that's so cool look at how it makes the aquarium look I'm gonna do this everywhere I'm gonna do it everywhere I am it's gonna this is gonna be how it is from now on that's it why do we have barrels it is a decoration oh brilliant okay so what we got in here then we got some uh arabian blue lined dotty backs so those guys are bullies they can't have anybody else in their tank we got tanks in there um or oh, blocking access to that that's no good we need to pop around there then we're into it's a little bit in the way but what can you do yeah, I'm loving this. I'm loving this place. So these tanks by the entrance seem to be all like, yeah, they've all, they're all empty, empty, empty. This one's asking for food. So these are some, oops, no, I don't need to move that one. I just want to look at the tank. I don't want to move it. Get off move. Okay, let's look at the tank. So this one is full of the half and half chromas. So it looks to me like I have conveniently got two empty tanks and I conveniently have two fish that I could put in there. So I'm thinking, yeah, build a tool station. Oh, actually, maybe I should just do what it's telling me to do. That would be really good, right? Build a tool station. I mean, at the moment, I would say there definitely is one needed there. I could get one in there. And definitely get one in there. I don't know if I will have room for a green pellet dispenser in here, so I'll have to make sure that I just stick with the orange pellet dispenser type fish in this particular bit, because it's really, really cramped. Unless I just expand the back of there a little bit. That's something I could do as well. You're not really particularly hurting for space in any of these levels. You have generally plenty of money, so... It kind of annoys me that that one's flush against the entrance and that one's one back as well. So maybe the whole thing just needs moving. Maybe I just need to be like... Yeah. yeah. Just move it all forward. Including the wall. Need a new bit of wall as well, don't we? Yeah. There yeah. That's bug me, bugging me a little bit less. Um, 
I'll put up with the fact that it's kind of going around here because I think that's almost it's almost turning the aquarium around I think it I think it's wanting them to go there do you know what else I think would be really good here as well as to like sort the wall out there and um, like put the staff yeah there's a staff door there like why do all these walls need to be here and they don't they just don't waste of, it's a waste of time waste of space and the, the clients will go down there and be able to see nothing so let's get rid yeah that's much more, but that's much nicer I mean I do like this is a stylistic choice having the, the tank like jutting out like that I think that's quite cool I mean, one thing I could do as well is um, make room for benches and stuff. I don't know, I could just put benches along here sort of thing, along the, the bits where there aren't too many. We'll work it out, we'll work it out. So we've built the tool station, we need to hire at least one staff, that would be great. So feeding and fixing, two, 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 only fixing. Okay, well it looks like you're the best, Claire. So you are hired. And I think people could come in now. I mean, if I can open the aquarium. I need to complete the other objectives first. Oh, so ha I'm still a little bit unsure about how to get science. So add animals to your aquarium until the combined value across all the tanks is 40. So we must be able to see on the tanks how much science we have. No? No. It's a wall tank. Oh, so we have different types of tank now. I don't understand that. Like, how come we have wall tanks? Because I thought, oh, oh, cool, there's walls and, and that's really good. But apparently it's a wall tank. It's a tank that's made to look like a set into the wall, which is really cool. But still don't get the science. Still don't quite get it. Uh, maybe, I, maybe it'll tell me on the actual fish. Do you have science? No. I don't know. Let's just add more fish to places until things happen. Oh, these guys do have science. Ah, right. So the moray eels are a big one. So they may eat or damage crustaceans with a size one or less. They need a cave. They eat mussels. They eat mussels. Do we have a mussel dispenser? We do! Oh, okay. So I think the eels are going to have to go in here then, because uh, this is the only... So I think the grammar fish are going to have to go in there. Okay, I think that'll, that'll have to do. They're a size 3, and these are a size 4 to 9. Could be anything! Don't know! Do they grow or something, maybe? Okay, let's put the, the grammar fish in here, and we'll see if they... Well, we managed to get quite a few in there. That's quite cool. Let's see, see if we can get some eels in the other one then. Oh, look at these guys. Amazing. Okay, you just placed your first zebra mori eel. The zebra mori starts small, but will grow larger over time. Grown up animals are worth more points. They will only grow if you fulfill all their care requirements. Uh, so that's what the four to nine is all about. And make sure there's enough space in the tank for them to grow into. Hover over the growth time icon to find out how many days it takes to grow up and what size it will be when it does. Very nice. Okay, so if they're four to nine, let's see how big this tank actually is. The tank is 15, so the tank is too small. It is too small for them, but we can make it bigger. Right, okay, so we're gonna have one in there for now. He's, he's sitting there being all happy, but I'm actually going to expand the tank a little bit, this one, if I can. Oh, I apparently can't. Right, okay. So, I do need two of these eels, but I will need to later on um, sort it out so they can grow a bit more. I do need to give them a cave. Oh, is there anything else that they can use to hide? Any hidey points? No, they do need two of these driftwood caves, apparently. I can fit two in though. There we are. 
Go on, my eels. My beautiful eels. Okay, we can open up now. Yeah. I don't know why we're on fast forward. Good work. The aquarium is restocked and open to the public once more. You may have noticed that all of the tanks at Northwoods are embedded into the walls. They are called, unimaginatively, wall tanks. Wall tanks are viewed by guests from one side and accessed by staff via the other. This allows you to keep your equipment behind closed doors. Talking of doors, the staff door allows your staff through while blocking guests. Handy. We were using this before. All of this is useful because from rank 3, guests expect your equipment to be hidden away and they will complain otherwise. Your next objective is to build your own wall tank matching the specification in your objectives. Ooh. So we need a 3x3, three three. we can put any animal we want in it and it needs to have sufficient water quality, heating and the guests cannot access it. That's easy enough. Okay, so our next ecology project, we can have a coral grouper, which uh, can't be housed with coral grouper. Okay. It's five to nine, gives 25 science points, gives quite a few prestige points. It's tropical, requires mussels and shelter. And it eats a bit more and creates more waste. It may eat or damage size 2 or less. Or crustaceans size 2 or less fish. And grows up. As long as its requirements are met. Cool. The flame anglefish. Angelfish. Anglefish? <laughs> the flame angelfish. Um, size 3. So, does that mean you can't have two of them together? May eat or damage stony corals, plant lover, eats green pellets. I think I'm going to go with the flame angelfish, honestly. And then I'm going to kind of, I think I'm going to like make the aquarium go around a corner. Oh, next science project, a basic pump. Um, can connect up to one tag or a power combi. Well, I like the look of the power combi, honestly. All right, then we'll go with the power combi. So I don't know if we get science from people looking at science fish. Oh, that's exactly what happens. Look, you can see it happening right now. Okay, so I want kind of to um, continue the walls down this way and have a tank kind of embedded into the wall around here I want to move this wall I think I think that's going to make it a little bit easier so this kind of is going to form the corner and I can get rid of that wall that's not needed so form the corner of the aquarium and I'm going to have one tank across here and I'm going to expand this way But I think that would be interesting. So first, I'm going to need enough room for a tank kind of back here and a, a staff area. Now, what I could do is just make a, enough room for the staff to be able to kind of get in behind there. Alright. I'm popping... I'm going to just pause it for a second while I do this because otherwise it gets a bit weird. A wall tank, a corner tank, and an observer tank. Oh, I see. That's an observer tank. But I kind of made it into a corner tank. But never mind. So I think we just need a straight up wall tank. We need it to be the other way around. And I'd like it to be quite big, I think. Oh, we can have four by threes now. Ooh, that's excitement. Yeah, go on, let's have a four by three. I have to do quite a lot to make it. Uh... So I just need to wall it in. The reason I'm pausing it is just the guests don't all walk in. So once they, once that's happened, they can happily go about their business. So we've got this empty tank here. Empty, empty tank. So what do I want to put in it? We've got... We don't have King and Azure or Demoiselles yet. 
Um, so I could put a few of those in, or I could have... No, we've got yellow tangs. Yeah, I don't think we've got the Azure and Kingdom as well, so I think we're going to put those in. Let's have lots of them. I need to pause it. <laughs> and let's put some blues in as well. So it's going to be this lovely, pretty blue and yellow tank here. But I think that's quite impressive, is when you have like loads and loads of little fish all together like that. So I'm going to need some kind of um, filtration for it and heating. So... Two of those. It may need a little more filtration, I'm not sure. It might be good to put in a little orange pellet dispenser behind it. I don't know, we've got one there. It is getting quite a way away, isn't it? So yeah, let's put one in. It's not gonna hurt. I kind of feel like they need just another little filter in behind it. looking now water quality is fine yeah just filled it full of these guys oh no it has to be three by three rats <laughs> that, that serves me right for not reading the uh... I need to resize this tank I was say, it serves me right for not reading. Can I resize it? Do I need to delete the whole tank? Because that's going to annoy me if I do. But I may have to. Oh, silly she lab. I can move it, but I honestly told you to resize it. So I'm just going to delete it. I'm going to just go, meh, meh. Yes. Sell them all. <laughs> Oops. We'll do it properly this time. Woohoo! Make a three by three. Pop in a bit more wall over there. We can always move that later if we need to. And I'm gonna put in. It was just the demoiselles. A few of those guys. A few of these guys. Is there any that have like one, <laughs> that have one size, a size of one, anything? I, I mean, there are definitely like things here that will eat um, orchid dotty backs and demoiselles. It's not my fault that it was an odd number. Oh, oh, I could put like a royal grammar in instead. That has a size of three. Yeah, let's do that. Let's check. Let's have a combination. Let's um, sell one of these, maybe two of them. Pop in a couple of those royal grammars. That's going to be such a pretty tank, though, isn't it? Look, look at all these pretty, pretty. Oh man, twenty-one out of twenty-three. Okay, we've got to get this. We've got to get this right. Um, sell. Two more of those. So we've got 17 out. Yeah, we can get two more of these pretty royal grammars in there. What do royal grammars eat? Are they orange pellets as well? Yeah, they're orange pellets as well. So that's cool. Oh, what a lovely little tank this is going to be. Okay, sea lettuces in there maybe. A couple of those. Um, maybe some rubble. Yeah, that looks nice. I like that tank. That's a cool tank. Look at that from the from the front. That's nice. Okay, I need a couple of filters. I'll just go with a combi filter. Two of them. Yay! Nicely done. The next stage of the aquarium's expansion is down to you. You'll need to fund the expansion using ticket sales, so keep an eye on your cash flow accessible by clicking on your current funds. I'll be in touch again once you've grown to a moderate size. Good luck. Okay.
earn 160 prestige. Okay. What are we at the moment? 35. Okay, we need a little bit more than that then, don't we? But we're not going to get it by being paused. I'm almost wondering whether a little tank in the middle here would be nice, but they, they're expecting hidden. They're expecting things to be hidden. And I kind of want to narrow this corridor down a bit more so they've got more to see. I want something here, definitely. Oh, they're up to 64 already, so some of these new things are pretty cool. Um, I kind of want to replace my eel tank with a bigger... Oh, they don't have enough filtration in there. Poor little eels. You want a little filter there? Just help you with your... Help you with your water quality a bit. You can't grow in there either. I feel really bad. I think I need to move them into a nice big eel tank. Nobody... Oh, right, okay. This is way too big for the people I have. Let's hire plenty of... Plenty of people. Let's see my cash flow. So, um... Staff salaries are 32. The animal food is 16. Got some building costs. Yeah, we spent a lot on building, so we need to make more in ticket sales. I definitely need to put them some benches somewhere as well. And I was, I was considering maybe moving these barrels across a little bit, putting some benches in there. bench there maybe a couple like in the middle there you can sit and watch the fish and there would do actually I don't like that one there actually I'm actually thinking if I expanded, yeah, actually, if I expanded that, uh, I'll just put these here for now. But if I expanded that wall around a bit, I could put another little tank in there that they could they could come around and watch. I think that would be way better. Would it be a corner tank, maybe? Yeah, I could do a, a tank that goes all the way around the corner there, look. would be quite small but you don't have to have huge tanks everywhere yeah let's have one of about that size and I need to do a little bit of moving of walls aha you're trapped Pedro I trapped Pedro stick something in there and that'll make this whole area look a little bit more like you know the stuff to, to watch in there rather than it being all rubbish yeah 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 that's a cute little corner tank what are we gonna put in there then i think you need some rocks in your tank i don't know why i just feel like it so do you it looks boring their tanks look boring Right, so they're not, they're not filtered enough at the moment. I don't need a power filter. That gives me like, way more than I need for just bumping these up a little bit. There we are, lovely. Think about it from the tourist's point of view, it's looking quite cool. Like I say, I think this is going to be a longer one. It's definitely going to be longer. Hopefully people are liking what they're seeing. It's about 70 at the moment, right? So, is there anybody... S I've already seen Royal Grammar. Okay, so people are getting a little bit like meh about them. Oops. So what fish have I got at the moment? 
So the fish that I have, I have them everywhere. Um, I could put a big eel tank in somewhere, I think. That would be cool. Then again, I've got to, like, stop thinking about what I think would be cool and think what the guests would actually enjoy watching. So I'm going to expand quite a bit. That cost me a thousand to do that. Oh! My angel fish! Yes! Okay, coral grouper. Only one may be kept per tank. So I could just go around putting these into uh, into tanks with other fish. But you've got to be careful like where they'll where they're ones that will eat um, other fish. The warning for clams, gorgonians, and stony corals. So I could put them in with a few things. But that's really cool. Because what I could maybe do is put the angel fish in there and then give the eels a bigger tank, because the eels need a bigger tank. They're really, really, really squished in there. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. That would be about a thousand. And I want... Um, so my big eel tank could go this side. And some smaller tanks could go this side. Or I could just... That a little bit further back and allow larger tanks. These tanks could be expanded here as well. I could move these. over here I don't know all I know is I need I need a big eel tank that's all I care about right now okay so I just want a basic wall tank I think I want to go about here and I want it to be quite large as large as I can make it. And then I'm going to move my eels in here. So, hello eels. I'm going to move them in and see what... I've got it paused, so that's cool. I'm going to move them in and see what they want. So, I could move their, their, their wood with them as well, actually. So. Oh, right click to pick up. Oh, so I don't have to do this movie thing. I could just go boom and, like, shove them in there. That's way easier. Alright then. Move your your wooden things in there with you. And your sea lettuce. There, that's better, isn't it? You can you can move in there. You can move. I could even get you a friend. So I'll get your combi mini in there. That's nearly enough, but not quite enough heat. There you're good. Okay. So you need oh yeah i need to move your muscle feed around as well let's get that moved there you are that's better isn't it much better poor little poor little eelies you feel better in that big tank yeah look they look better in that big tank as well so they will grow up to nine how much capacity does that tank hold Tank 3 holds up to 15? Yeah, oh, it's tank 9. It's not even tank 3. So it holds up to 30. So I could have one more eel in there and they'd be able to grow to full size. Yay, you have a friend! <laughs> Good science there. Okay, so this corner tank here has nothing in it currently, and I'm thinking this might be a good place for my angel fish. I can only have one in there, and it has to have elite corals, clams, and gorgonians. Do you know what actually I'm thinking? It could go in with the... It's a three space. I could put it in with some yellow tangs or something. So it can only go on its own, but it doesn't mean that it can't go with something else that's a bit bigger. Oh yeah, that's perfect. A flame fish and two yellow t Yeah, absolutely perfect.
I'm liking this. We're up to 94 prestige as well. Oh, I'm just enjoying building, which is... Uh, I wasn't quite as able to be so joyful about everything in the last one. I was a bit like, oh, I've got to get it all done. But now I'm just like, yeah, it's bigger and it's cooler. I'm just going to do that for now, right? But I need to put in a green dispenser. Otherwise, they're going to walk quite far. I mean, I don't have to. They could go and get it from somewhere else. There's one in the aquarium. That's the main thing, but I don't know. It'd be nice if they could actually feed themselves. I need somewhere that's not going to block their path or anything. Actually, there would be fine. For now, anyway, until I build more stuff around there. But then I'll have more space around here and things. Fabulous. Okay, so they are totally unhappy. The water temperature is too low. They're at risk of death. So some filters need to come in here. Actually, that needs to move then, doesn't it? I'll go there. And then that could turn around. Yeah, that would work. Right, so I need filters. And I also need heaters. Okay, so they're good. The water temperature isn't quite... Well, the temperature is fine. It's the filtration isn't. So actually, all I need there is another filter. I don't know what that means. That 32... Oh, it may be... I don't know. Let's see if we can hover over it. Filter power helps maintain basic water quality. Oh, it's just telling you the filter power. Okay. That's fine. There's some good science in this one, apparently. Good science. Oh no, there's good science in, in tank 9. This is tank 8. This has no science. Oh well. It's okay. It needs some It needs some nice... Uh, oh, some eelgrass in there would be good. Actually, no. Um, I want to sell that. I just want to sell the eelgrass. Not everything. Let's sell that piece of eelgrass there. Keep the one in the corner there. Make a, I could move it. It would be hard to move it. Okay, never mind. Let's, uh, let's just... All I was wanting really was to put some sea lettuce in as well. A couple of bits of sea lettuce. So there we've got a nice, t nice tank that kind of looks interesting. I think that looks better as a backdrop, honestly, rather than at the front of the tank. I don't know if I can move it around. Oh yeah, I can just pick it up. And like... Okay, pick up the seagrass. Put it there. Pick up the other seagrass. Put it there. Pick up the decoration. Put it over there. I'm actually kind of thinking I would prefer it like let's put you there at the front and then pick you up put you at the back there that's what I wanted that's totally what I wanted and then I can kind of like put some rocks next to it or something you have to think about those things you know you have to think about how it looks yeah look at that that's nice they've got a nice tank there Happy. Happy with that. Okay. Oh wow, look at the prestige popping from that. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now, you guys. Uh, I need to build a wall over here because you're about to go into a staff-only area and that is not allowed. We're up to 105. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. I'll do something, so I'll put these guys in with someone else as well when we, some nice big fish that it won't eat. These guys look really boring on their own, don't they? I don't think they need spicing up with something else. So I might get rid of like two of them and then have room to put something else in, so boom, boom. So I got rid of two of you. Let's, let's like... 
They could go with like some orchid dotty backs or something. You know, you get some pink in here as well. There you go. That looks a bit more interesting. Combined filters unlocked. Power combi. I don't even know what that is. But we'll research the basic pump. Because it's the only thing left to research. And we're also researching the, the coral grouper. That's about halfway through. That's fantastic. So we're, doing, we're at 145. Oh, wow. Okay. We might be nearly there. Looking at it, it's hovering around 150. Oh, I've not nothing in that tank at the front. That would be why. So what can we put in there then? Well, you're big. Black bar soldier fish. We haven't got any of those yet. We don't like lights. Okay, that's fine. We could put you in with a flame angel fish. Cool. So we need to give them a driftwood cave. And they need a couple of sea lettuces or something. There we are. Yeah. That's good. Get some ecology there. Get some, hopefully, some prestige. We're all getting fed at the moment. I mean, do we have enough staff? We have one more staff member we could hire, and I think we should. Oh, we're down to 131 now. Do people not like that one? Yes, Coral Grouper. Oh, I know what I'll do. It has a couple of care requirements you haven't seen before. They're greedy, which means they eat more and lower the water quality more than other animals. They just like conspecifics, which means only one may be kept per tank. Finally, they may eat fish and crustaceans, which are smaller than itself. Hover over the warning icon to find out more. We did already. I'm actually thinking I might take the angel fish out of this one. Might sell it and put in a coral fish instead. Or we could take one of the black bars out. And we could actually just stick it in. I mean, I don't think... What will it eat? It'll eat anything that is smaller than size 2. Uh, the black one soldier fish is size 4 and the angel fish is a size 3 so it should be fine in that one and it's 5 to 9 oh wow it grows a lot we may need to take some more fish out to give it a bit of space alright then I would like to give it at least a friend. Coral grouper, yeah, you're in there, right? You need you need more Heidi stuff apparently, right? Okay. You need a bigger tank, don't you? I'm gonna build it a bigger tank. It's it looks so small and pathetic in there, <laughs> like. It needs a big tank. Could put an observer tank in, actually. I don't know how big the observer tank can be. Oh, we're only looking at a 2 by 3 for that. Okay. You. Right, okay, let's have a wall tank because we can have bigger wall tanks. I might just go a little bit further forward with it though. So it's a bit more zigzaggy. So that's the biggest I can do. And I want my coral fish in here, I think. And I'll have this going back to what it was before. Yeah. 
these all the way. There's too many tanks open here. And we'll move you into this big, nice big new tank. And then we'll put some more um, soldier fish in there. Because that's the only soldier fish tank we got. There we are. That's better. Okay, so this big old coral fish here. I'm going to need to put some more walls in to stop everybody getting in behind. You. Over there. Yeah, so he's not looking very happy over there. I really like that half and half promise. Oh, this isn't good. No, 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 that, that's... Oh, ew. Okay, I need to do something about that. Can I put a wall along there? Oh, I can. Oh, nice. That's a good one. Okay, cool. Uh, you need to move out my way. Nancy. Okay, so I need to find this guy some friends and... Um, and some hidey holes. So generally seems to be needing uh, at least one driftwood cave in there. Let's put some of that eel grass in it. Looks quite quite funky, doesn't it? I like it. it makes a nice backdrop. Okay, we could do with putting filters in. Because you, you know, kind of need those. Okay, the fish looks happy in there. How much room have we got left in this tank? Five out of thirty. You need you, oh you eat mussels. Alright then. Put the muscle feeder in as well. Muscle feeder! Lovely. Okay, who's gonna be your friends then? Let's just delete this wall so they can actually get in and feed you. Oh, oh. I just wanted to get rid of the wall. So he's looking, it's looking a bit prettier in there now, isn't it? I did want to kind of just move this around a little bit. This decoration. Oh, no. Eek. This decoration. Move it around a bit. Move it there. And I can get some more eelgrass in behind. Should be quite cool. So, who's going to be your friends in here then? So, you will eat anybody that is smaller than two. I'll put some yellow tangs in with you. They look quite nice, I think, with you. So now apparently we need another water filter and we need some more grass. So I was going to put more grass in anyway, so that's fine because that was part of my plan for the design of the tank, was to have the whole back of it like, with eelgrass and then we will happily stick in another little filter. Now how much more filtration do we need? Probably only a basic filter's worth. Oh no, maybe not. Okay. Well, well, we best sell you then and get a power filter. Okay, so we need green pellets, which we have, and we need mussels, that's fine. Let's see what people think of this tank. This is a lovely tank. Oh, they like that tank. There's lots of prestige happening. Good, good, good. Come on, three more, three more points to go and we've done. Yes, we earned it. Impressive work on the latest expansion. You've proven you're ready even for even more advanced aquarium design techniques. It's time to learn about pumps. Pumps allow you to remotely locate your equipment away from your tanks. Instead of attaching your heaters, filters, etc. directly to the tank, you attach them to the pump, which is several tiles away. Demonstrate your understanding of pumps by building a pump and tank configuration matching the specification in your objectives. 
Oh, this is what I was saying. Oh, 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 I was saying like, oh, we could have a nice tank in the middle here and it would look lovely. Blah, 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 blah. And uh, that was what I was meaning. So get a lagoon tank and a pump that's at least three tiles away with any animal and sufficient water quality, heating and equipment connected to the, to the tank fire a pump. So what I think I need to do then is to have kind of um, expand a bit more. We've got loads of money, it's cool. out like this that's a thousand to expand that much that's fine then I'm gonna pause the game I'm gonna make this lagoon tank so this is just the, the normal tanks I have a nice big 4x4 four four of it wow that's cool Maybe a little bit though, just adjust you a bit. Yeah, I don't want it that size actually. That size will be fine. I do think I need to maybe expand. No, actually, I don't need to expand further. I need to, to cut, cut these walls in a bit. So we've got these walls here. And what I'm going to say is, in fact, actually, I'm going to... No, because we need room for the pumps and things. Well, actually, no, no, that would that would be fine. That would be fine too. So we do this, and then do this. Okay. So we're starting to. I may move the tank a little bit further in as well. So we want to delete these walls here. Well, that's something a bit different that they can they can go all around that tank. Slightly mocked it up though. I'm gonna have it like that, I think. So it's two in that direction. Uh, I want this wall to be a little bit different to what I've done, so I'm just gonna do this. Bit of a waste. I think I do get money back for demolishing though. Sell for five. I think you get almost as much back as you as you spend actually. I have a couple of benches and things along here and they can just sit and look at the lagoon tank and gaze longingly at whatever I put in there. I mean it would be amazing to put eels in there. But I've already moved the eels like four million times but I think that would be a really cool place to put eels. Hey you. A massive tank in the middle. Okay, so it needs to have a pump at least three tiles away. That's fine. I can put it behind this wall. So I'm going to put my pump in. And I think I'll finish the episode once we've done that, because this has been a massive long episode. But I wanted to do pumps. I told you this would be much, much longer than the last one. So once we've done the pump, I'll end the episode. Uh, where's my pump? Oh no, it's still being... Ah, oh, okay. Well, we, we still have to wait for the pump to be researched, apparently. Um, so that tank's going to have to just stay there until it's all ready. So we're going to have to... So what I will do is I may just run the aquarium for a little bit so I get some science points off camera before we come back and then we can um, do the pump next time. So we'll end the episode there. So I hope you enjoyed it and if you did then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more uh, mega aquarium. It's not very mega yet but I think it's getting there. It's getting more mega with every with every level I do. But if you'd like to see more then please subscribe. I'll let you know when the video is out. I hope to see you all next time. In the meantime though please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.